New at 11, protesters storming the street in front of Durham's police headquarters today to protest the building of a new multi-million dollar home for the department. Yeah, CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith was there and spoke to people about why they're so against the plan. More than 100 protesters marched onto West Chapel Hill Street in front of the current Durham Police Headquarters to protest a new one. We want the city of Durham to divest from police and instead fund black futures. Yes. Police officers stood by directing traffic around the protesters who were calling for less policing and justice for police brutality. The group, made of multiple organizations and community members, wants City Council to take back plans to build a new police headquarters on East Main Street that will cost over $71 million, a total that decreased this year from $81 million. Mental health services, it could be used towards affordable housing, um, it could be used towards community gardening, um, and other means of revitalizing a, a neighborhood other than um, more enforcement. That's really where we create create public safety is in building in building thriving livable communities where everyone has opportunities to succeed. The Durham Police Department and city administration wouldn't comment on the protest, but when voting for the new headquarters last year, city council members agreed the current space just is not enough anymore. Although the building is slated to open in 2018, council newcomer Jillian Johnson is still hoping they can find what she calls a better use of money. I think that folks on council are going to are going to have to listen to, you know, to these people who are out here, you know, willing to, to stand up and say that this is not where we think the city should be should be investing. We have nothing to lose with our kids. In Durham, Carly Griffith, CBS, North Carolina. The new police headquarters will consolidate several police functions that are currently spread out. It will also be home to emergency communications. No word if there were any arrests at tonight's protests.